Hey, what's happening guys? You're here with Matt Sterling again today. And today I'm gonna to bring to you what I believe, at least for me, has been um, one of the best back workouts for width um, that I'm using right now in order to, uh, for one, I'm prepping for the worlds, right? So for me, prepping for the worlds right now, uh, this is, you guys are gonna see a little bit of what I'm doing. I'm gonna throw a bunch of different exercises at you, some you've probably seen, but it's gonna be really about efficiency today and uh, just trying to find the lats, right? Also, as we go through these, you're gonna notice that I'm gonna be working with angles, right? So uh, when it comes to building a wide back, that's the other thing. So I find that going through a variety of angles, whether it's straight up, here, out in front of you, and down low, is one of the best ways, right? You just sit, simply hit all the angles. Um, for myself, I'm 109 days out from the Muscle Mania Worlds in Vegas. So come check this out. I'm already warmed up. I actually did like a two minute real fast walk at like 4.0 just to kind of get my blood going. I was sitting in the car coming back from Windsor with my wife and my child. Um, so a little bit a little bit cold from the air conditioning. And then uh, I also hopped in the sauna, right? So I am one of those guys. I do like to get my blood flowing a little bit. I don't like to just jump right into the workout. For me, it's a little bit of mindset thing too. So anyways, we're going to get right into it and uh, just kind of care. Just Follow me along through these exercises today and I'll try and add some little tips as we go. All right, let's do this. All right guys, so right here, you can see me going through the hammer grip pull down. So I find for me, this is one of the best ones for stimulating my lats. So you can see my, my scapula is protracting out on the way up and then retracting back. And that's really what it's about when you're trying to flex your lats, right? And get them, you just want to initiate from right here and simply pull down. So. I also find that doing this exercise, I'm able to lean back a little bit and get that full range of motion. So I'm going to both extremes of, of the range of motion, right, for the eccentric and the, um, and the uh, yeah, concentric. So, you know, by not, by not being straight up, I'm not gonna have such a big bend in my elbow and I'm able to use my lats a little bit more. Again, I like to start off with that exercise. I really feel my lats doing that one. So now I got a good pump, lots of blood. Uh, happening in the lat and you notice too when I talked about angles in the beginning um, I was talking about being straight up out here and that's kind of where we're at right now right I was on that angle leaning back and then able to come straight up on the way up on the eccentric part of the movement right so so next what we're going to do is again use that hammer grip I do like the hammer grip uh, I like to switch to that once in a while um, actually a lot and uh, now we're going to do it but we're going to go wide right so this time when we do it you're going to see that I'm going to be straight up doing these again uh, building a bigger back building a wider back I think is a lot about angles so you want to make sure you're hitting those um, and hitting your weak points right so let's check this out we'll go into this next all right follow along I'm not really doing any stretched out sets right now, so I'm not really adding too many intensifiers, maybe a little extra stretch at the end. But on this one, you can really see when I grab out that bar and initiate right away as I go to sit down, right there, you can see my lats popping out, scapula and everything's engaged, and then go, right? So again, it's just protract and retract the whole time, keep attention there. So, and again, this one I'm keeping straight up, right? So that's the tough part is to keep straight up and try not to lean back and cheat through the movement. So I'm not able to go as heavy here, but I have a whole lot of tension on my lats. So anyways, next what we're gonna do, we're gonna go, so the cable or the weight is straight out in front of us and we're squeezing back, all right? So let's go. As I'm kind of ripping through this workout, I might be missing some fine details as far as you guys getting that wide back. But just so you know, as I'm going through all the back exercises, I have a lot of outward intention the whole time. So when I'm, when I'm hitting up these, um, the seated cable rows out in front of me, I'm actually pushing out the whole time to keep everything engaged, right? On top of that, because I am trying to hit my lats, I'm not only just pushing out, but I'm actually driving down, right? So I know there's no resistance. I mean, the, it's horizontal resistance that's happening, but just by me simply setting my shoulders down and before I come back, I'm getting a lot more engagement on my lats. And it's just cueing me to keep them under tension the whole time. Because for me, this is all about building a uh, wider back today. So just take note of that as I'm going through this. All right, let's go. Again, you can see I'm engaged. First thing I do, push down, out, go. So I'm not trying to use too much momentum on the way back keeping it pretty strict. So in recent years, I used to really whip back, gave myself some small injuries. So you'll notice my back is real flat here, right? Again, just trying to keep engaged the whole time, guys. So for myself, I'm trying to stay in this for the long haul. So form is really everything and, and heavier is not always the answer. So heavier under more control, I find is the answer. So give these ones a whirl. You'll notice I keep my rep ranges for the most part. Honestly, I'm not really even counting today as I'm just trying to stimulate the muscle and make sure that I'm keeping everything under tension. So for the most part, I would say I'm not doing more than 10 to 15 reps for anything, but I am going to the point where um, on my last set or so, 
I'm getting pretty close to failure. So uh, again, no stretch sets or anything here. Okay, let's go on to the next one. All right, guys, so check this one out. So again, another really controlled exercise here. Remember, it's all about angles today for building a bigger, better, wider back, right? We started up here, and then we were here, doing that lean back, then we're right out in front of us. And now I'm gonna be bent over here, and, we'll, and now it's gonna be a little bit more intentional. I'm gonna be driving my arms back. So situate yourself, right? And then we're gonna have like, I guess a bit of a sawing action, whatever you want. But I'm trying to drive my arms not just straight up. I'm not trying to squeeze my upper back and rear delts. I'm actually trying to drive my arm back first before I do anything, and then reach to my back pocket, right? So it's, it's it, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to go as heavy, but again, it's not about that, right? So initiate by depressing the lats, shoulders, and then squeeze back, right? So try not to get too, too much of the arch. This happening, right? Keep it strict. All right, let's go. All right, guys, so same thing. Um, always going for tension for building that wider back, hitting different angles. You can see, I'm, again, I'm going to that, towards that back pocket and the front of that dumbbell is getting towards my hip. You'll also notice that as I come down, I'm internally rotating, right? So those palms are facing downwards and then I'm pulling back, right? So it's a slight adjustment, but you're gonna get a little bit of a bigger stretch and then retraction on the way back of those lats. So be sure to try and implement that into your training. Notice I'm not doing any cheating here. On these sets, the most that I did was I just added some four or five partials at the end, all right? So we're gonna end off with some finishers here, get a final back pump, and then we'll check in at the end. All right, guys, so here I'm doing a little bit of POF, so positions of flexion and working those various points. So here I'm straight up, and you'll notice I'm only coming to the point where the tension really starts, and that's with my arms straight out in front of me, parallel to the floor, and then coming down to the hardest point, right, which is at my thighs. And then you'll see me switch over, and then I'm gonna work that position of the flexion. So here the hardest point of the movement is when I actually get to the end of the concentric, and you'll notice I'm coming up relatively higher here. So in this one exercise, I'm hitting different points of the lat, right? In the strength curve and the positions of flexion. So try this out, a great way to get a final pump of the lats at the end. And next, we're gonna just move on, hit up some rear delts, just to make that back feel nice and wide. So let's keep kicking. All right, guys, so as I'm going through this movement, the important thing here is that I'm trying to keep my arms as straight as possible, right? You'll see me going through some partials, but what, I'm, what you don't see is that I'm actually pushing towards the wall in front of me. So I'm literally taking my fist and pushing them straight out at, and, then, and then pulling outwards, right? And then coming and bringing the cable across my body. So watch this again, I push my arms straight out and then pull, right? Push them out, then pull. So that's happening every single time. So if you guys wanna get more activation of those rear delts, that's, those are little things you have to pay attention to, right? And that just helps me keep my focus too. So every time I'm grabbing out those cables, that's what I'm thinking. So again, do some partials on here, do some drop sets because I left it to the very end. Um, so that's it, man. So this is, these are a lot of the exercises that I'm doing right now to build the width in my back. All right, so that's it, guys. 109 days out from Muscle Mania Worlds. I just brought you through uh, a little taste of what I'm doing right now to build a bigger, better, wider back. And again, just, just take note of today. Like, really, I try to keep it simple, man. I mean, at this point, for me, where I'm at with my programming and how I'm periodizing things, I'm not doing a whole lot of volume right, with, and a lot of workout density, so I'm not doing tons of drop sets, I'm saving that to the end. But the most important takeaway from today is to build that bigger, wider back, I want you guys to be thinking about all angles, right? So again, I was straight up, and then I was working from here, and then I was working from here, right? So I'm hitting all these various angles. And then of course, um, one of the, uh, listening to some of the other cues that I had too, right, about the outward intention, the downward intention, keeping your shoulders depressed, all that kind of stuff, right? So those are some important takeaways that you gotta take today um, if you're not already implementing those into your training. All right, so give those a whirl and, uh, and let me know how it goes, man. So a few other things uh, as far as my page, be sure to subscribe, right? So if you haven't subscribed to me yet, check that out. You'll be first to get some of my newest and latest videos, right? And then other than that, um, give the video a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or other videos too that you guys wanna be seeing. So I've been getting some emails of some various things and topics that people wanna be learning about. And that's, that's kind of what's cueing me, right? Because I wanna be giving you guys some value and uh, I want you guys to follow me along as I'm going through this whole journey, right? So drop some comments below. Um, if you get on my subscriber list, then of course I'll send you guys an email and we can go back and forth with that. But otherwise, check this out, try it yourself, let me know how it goes.